Hey, Jake with BH, and today Sony has brought their high end innovation into a brand new basic model that is anything but basic. This is the new Sony Alpha 7 Mark IV. With this new release, Sony has opened the door to a broader spectrum of creators who can now access and use the extraordinary tech from Sony's flagship camera, the Alpha 1. Sony has basically taken the a7 III, a camera loved for both its stills and video performance, and upgraded its core features and even added some more video-specific functions that make it an even better hybrid shooter. Some highlights include a newly developed 33 megapixel Exmor R CMOS sensor, the latest Bion's XR image processing engine, advanced AI-based autofocus, 10-bit 4K 60p internal video recording, outstanding operability for both photo and video, and on-the-spot streaming and sharing of high-quality content. So if you're a growing content creator who needs a fantastic hybrid photo video streaming camera that offers amazing image quality and fast sharing of content, this is an upgrade you'll definitely want to consider. So let's roll. Let's start with photography. As mentioned, the a7 IV offers a new imaging experience from the latest imaging and processing engine, a 33 megapixel backside illuminated CMOS image sensor paired with Sony's flagship class processing engine, the Bion's XR, that is found in both the A1 and the A7S III. Now, just like the A1, the a7 IV provides flagship class image quality. We're talking 15 stops of dynamic range, consistent and accurate color reproduction for smooth skin textures and tones that that are realistic and healthy looking. Native ISO range is 100 to 51,200, but it can be expanded to 50 to 204,800 ISO for stills or 100 to 102,400 ISO for movies. Creative looks are still supported in still and movie mode with 10 types and eight items of selectable parameters. So if users have a certain look they always like to shoot in, they can adjust accordingly and the look will be baked into their image for faster uploads to social media. The a7-4's IBIS has been slightly upgraded from the previous a7-3 to 5.5 stops of in-body image stabilization, putting it on par with the Sony A1. The a7-4 will also take advantage of Sony's flagship class advanced AI-based AF, which offers 759 phase detection AF points, which equates to an unbelievable 94% sensor coverage, equal to the A1. Real-time tracking is now more tenacious using color, pattern, and subject distance data to process the spatial information in real time at high speed. Just like the A1, the new A7 IV employs high-level subject recognition technology to provide real-time IAF, not just on humans and animals, but also now on birds. If that wasn't enough, the A7 IV has high recognition IAF that will track and redetect subjects even if they exit and then re-enter the frame. The camera will quickly reacquire the subject's face and eyes. This works in both photo and video mode. And it should be noted that the latest AF algorithms achieve high AF precision all the way down to light levels as low as negative 4 EV in AFS mode. Using both mechanical and electronic shutter, the a7 IV can shoot 10 frames per second in high speed continuous shooting mode. Sony has said that the scanning speed of the electronic shutter is so fast there should be little to no motion distortion. The incredibly powerful processing engine of the Bion's XR allows users to shoot 10 frames per second in uncompressed RAW plus JPEG up to 828 frames before hitting the buffer. If you shoot regular JPEG, users can literally continuously shoot up to the capacity of their memory card before ever hitting the buffer. The a7 IV has some impressive video specs to discuss. Now right out of the gate, this camera can capture full frame 4K 10-bit 422 up to 30 frames per second internally which is actually a 7K oversampling full frame readout without pixel binning, which means higher resolution and higher detailed 4K video. If you want slash need a higher frame rate, you can also shoot 4K 10-bit 422-60p with a 1.5 times crop factor, aka Super 35, without pixel binning at a 4.6K oversampling. All the latest formats are available on the a7 IV, including the high efficiency XAVC HS codec based on the H.265 and the IntraFrame XAVC-SI. Video image quality is carried over from the Alpha 1 into the A7 IV. Sony has implemented the very popular and useful S Cinetone color profile for users that need that natural highlight roll-off baked into the look rather than taking the time to color grade in post. 
Speaking of, users will find the familiar S-Log3 picture profile as well in the new a7 IV, offering 15 plus stops of dynamic range for users that want that room to grow their filmmaking skills and apply their own color grades. The advanced real-time IAF will carry over into movie mode just like the a7S III and the A1, so that when shooting video, the camera will detect and track the eyes of humans. Where it actually steps up from those Sony cameras is that the real-time IAF will support animals and yes, birds. There's also real-time tracking with touch capabilities via the rear LCD, and users can set the speed and sensitivity of the AF transitions and shift to achieve their desired visual expression of a focus throw. Now for the first time in a Sony camera body, Sony has developed a breathing compensation technology that can achieve smooth focus transition with minimized focus breathing when using their native E-mount glass. For those who don't know, focus breathing is when a user pulls focus from something in the background or the foreground or vice versa and it results in a visible change in focal length where the size of the image appears to change suddenly. It can be very jarring and distasteful for filmmakers, but this new feature in the a7 IV corrects it. The sacrifice being a slight crop in on the sensor itself, but the reward is smooth cinematic focus pulling with minimal breathing, and I'll take that any day. A unique innovation that one could find in a higher end cinema camera like the Sony Venice, the a7 IV has a cool feature called Focus Map that visualizes the in focus area and helps users see the appropriate iris for their expected depth of field. Similar to what was found on the FX6, the AF Assist function offers manual focus operation even during autofocus shooting. It provides new functionality, integrating autofocus with manual focus for even better operability. I think it's fair to say that Sony is just showing off by bringing features from their renowned cinema cameras and flagship mirrorless cameras into a so-called basic model. We've gone beyond basic at this point. When engineering the internals of a powerful hybrid photo video camera, the exterior design of the body must be equally impressive to meet the demands of hybrid shooting. Thankfully, the a7 IV intuitive by design is up to the task. Starting with the top dial, users have the option to easily switch from stills to movie or S&Q mode very quickly. This allows for independent selection of a dedicated setting, which is crucial when users need to move fast between each to capture fleeting moments. Once in these modes, the a7 IV offers 18 custom buttons and a new rear dial R that users can assign 169 different functions to, making this body super customizable. The EVF is a 3.68 million dot QVGA OLED that has approximately 1.6 times the resolution of the previous a7 III. It can be viewed in standard 60 frames per second or the new high 120 frames per second. The rear LCD is a 1.03 million dot 3 inch very angled touchscreen display, perfect for selfies, vlogs, or mounting to a gimbal. And thanks to the new heat dissipating structure, the a7 IV can shoot 4K 60p 10 bit 422 video continuously for over an hour. It has two card slots. Slot 1 will take CF Express Type A and UHS 2 SDXC, while slot 2 only takes UHS 2 SDXC cards. However, you can record slash capture everything onto a V90 SDXC card. The advantage of the CF Express Type A card is that 828 frame buffer when shooting 10 frames per second high speed continuous. Around the body, you'll find a top panel record button for quick start and stop recording operation, multi-interface shoot with digital audio interface to use with Sony accessories, a full-size HDMI port for monitoring or recording externally, a microphone jack, headphone jack, super speed USB 10 gigabits a second USB Type-C connector, and a multi slash micro USB connector. New AF on button is optimized for tactile feedback and is positioned for easy access. Refined multi-selector designed shape and texture surface provide solid grip and control feel, while control button materials and design have been revised to provide enhanced click feel and tactile feedback. If you stream on any social media platform and want to make a major upgrade in your video audio quality, the a7 IV can easily help you out. Sony has simplified the process thanks to the improved USB connection procedure. Once connected to the camera and then to your computer, a display menu will pop up on the camera. Select live stream USB connection and you're ready to stream. On top of that, you can record a high quality version of your live stream internally on the a7 IV while you're streaming. I can't stress enough how much of an impact a full frame interchangeable lens camera with a digital audio interface will make 
on your live streams. Your followers will certainly recognize the quality difference right away and call it out in the chat. Sharing your content has never been easier or faster with the A7IV's improved connection settings. If the Imaging Edge mobile app and the camera are paired via Bluetooth in advance, the camera will keep connecting and therefore only needs to be selected from the app menu to allow Wi-Fi transfer images stored in the camera. The Imaging Edge mobile app now supports 5 GHz Wi-Fi for faster transfer speeds and the super speed USB 10 gigabits a second Type-C connector allows fast PC tethered shooting. That's not all for today. Often overlooked, Sony has made some improvements to flash performance. The a7 IV has advanced external flash control offering PTTL flash metering for every frame in low, mid, and high continuous shooting modes. This provides stable illumination and consistent exposure for each frame even when tracking fast moving subjects in scenes where the light may change or the angle of view is changed. The time lag between pressing the shutter button and flash output has been significantly reduced. Control of the flashes is linked to the camera's face detection for auto white balance and flash level control, thus creating natural color tones on human faces as it considers the balance between the light incident on the subject's face from the flash and from the environment. To take full advantage of these improvements, Sony has a couple new flashes to go with their latest mirrorless cameras. The professional HVL F60 RM2 wireless radio flash and the convenient HVL F46 RM wireless radio flash are the new flagship and mid-range options for on-camera flash. Both still have wireless radio remote triggering support and offer lightning fast communication with alpha cameras. Speed is the name of the game with these units and the advanced design will support continuous shooting at 10 frames per second for up to 200 flashes on the 60RM or 60 flashes on the 46RM. With the A1, the 60RM can even hit an incredible 20 frames per second. Both units will even support the A1's maximum flash sync speed of 1 400th of a second without requiring HSS. And the flashes boast a full power recycle time of just 1.7 seconds for the 60RM and 2 seconds for the 46RM. So as promised, the a7 IV delivers flagship level performance and image quality in a camera body that rivals some of Sony's premier mirrorless cameras, fitting snugly somewhere between the a7S III and the a6500. So whether you're a photographer, videographer, or streamer, or heck, maybe all three combined, the new Sony a7 IV fits the bill. Thanks to the 33 megapixel sensor, the Bionz XR processor, high recognition IAF tracking, full frame 4K 10 bit video recording, pro level picture profiles, and efficient live streaming capabilities, the a7 IV can pretty much do it all. What excites you about the new a7 Mark IV? Is this your next camera? Are you going to be upgrading? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Jake with BH. Just keep rolling.